So I was reading Reddit the other day and this subject of exam leaks has come up now a couple of weeks before the real exams actually happen. I'm really just fed up with the whole exam leaks, always people looking for some leaks so they can get the paper earlier. And I want to talk about the seven reasons why these can be so damaging and make sure that you watch until the end of the video. I'm going to give you some really useful advice to stop hearing all the noise about exam leaks so you can focus on what you need to do to succeed. The first main reason, this is the really unfair reason, is it increases the grade thresholds. Now I talked about this in an earlier video where you get this double peak with a normal distribution. If you can check out that video up here. And essentially that leads then to people doing better than expected and therefore that leads to an increased grade threshold, which is really unfair to all those students that have worked hard over their exams. Number two is of course the threat of disqualification totally. Now what a lot of students don't realize is if they get found cheap on a particular exam, exam leaks obviously fitting into that, they don't just get disqualified from that one exam, they could get disqualified from the whole IGCSE or A-level exams that they are actually doing. Now number three is one problem that actually did appear last year with A-level maths paper one in Pakistan and that is if they find that too many people actually get access to an exam leak then they can simply invalidate the results for that and that led to the weird situation of paper five or paper four actually determining the AS level grade which is totally unfair. Now an obvious point to talk about these exam leaks is often they're actually scams. So there's actually people out there pretending they've actually got the leak and charging huge amounts of money to actually get access to that. The best way that you can practice is of course use the past papers. You can also use predictive papers. Lots of people including myself create predictive papers to really give you the best preparation possible for the exam. Of course, there's also the ethical implications of it. If you do cheat and somehow get away with it, I would really say that that's very difficult to do. Then, of course, the ethical implications is that when you go through to A-level, you go through to university, they expect you to have that knowledge. And of course, you'll be found out at some point. And lastly, which is probably the most serious to students and teachers alike out there, is the damage of trust to the actual system. So universities and employers, they use these IGCSEs, A-level, IB exams to actually assess where a student is. If they cannot trust the results that are coming out, then that makes it very difficult for those employers to employ the right people. And that has an effect on everybody and their work chances. So what should you actually do as a student to avoid all the noise about the exam leaks? You should be focusing on your studies. Every time you see a Reddit post about, oh, here's the next exam leak, something like that, just ignore it completely. Focus on what you can control. That is the study that you do. Watching videos out there, watching my videos, watching Mathly, there's lots of great maths YouTubers out there to really go and get the best possible mark. If you actually want to find out how Cambridge and other exam boards actually uh, find out about cheating, then click on the video over here and I go through some of the mathematical processes they have to actually find cheaters.